Hey everyone, it's me Cole again. Today we're going to be doing a Cole Hole lottery ticket review. Uh, today uh, we got 7 11 21 which uh, each lottery ticket's worth a dollar. And um, let's see right here, the prize is up to three grand. And you got three different games here. So if it like adds up to 7, 11, or 21, then you get a, you get whatever prize is shown here. Uh, I actually took a head start at it. Uh, I did seven already. And so far I made um, nine bucks. So I got a $2 profit. Uh, it's kind of, it's taken a really long time to scratch all these. I don't know, I think if you're, um, I don't know, if you want like, just like one ticket for like 20 bucks, you know, next time I'll do one ticket for 20 bucks rather than $21 tickets for, <laughs> for $1 because it's taken a long time for not much of a profit. And, you know, I feel like you're kind of losing money either way, you know. Um, sorry, I'm just in an empty parking lot and like, I'm really scared that a cop might pull me over. I don't know, I think they'd understand coronavirus and stuff, you know, I just feel like being in my car, you know, whatever. Um, so we have 13 lottery tickets left. So we're gonna see, let's see how it goes. I got 13, a six. All right, so I just need a two right now. No, I got a three. It's kind of weird commentating. I don't want to say every single number I get. But, um, I don't know. I, I like getting the smaller numbers a lot more. Because then it allows me to get either a seven or an eleven. Um. Nah. I probably look really dumb taking forever to do this math, but yeah, I just wanna I just wanna be completely sure. Yeah, see first number in, already got thirteen. Yeah, it's gonna be this is a dud card. I got like four dud cards in a row. I don't know if that's what people call them, that's what I'm gonna call them though. Dud cards. Huh. Yeah, this is a dud. I don't know if that's lame or not. You know, I learned that, um, I learned that, uh, geezing is like a Coke term. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Geezing, you know. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes people ask me, they're like, hey, Cole, what's your favorite math subject? I usually say algebra, just, you know, stuff like addition and, like, multiplication. Because, you know, it's just so much easier. It's like, yeah, why not algebra, you know? Um. Oh man, this is really embarrassing. I want it to be like one of those reaction videos where I get like the $3,000 and I get really happy. Or one of those reaction videos where I get like $50 and I'm still pretty happy, but not as happy if I got 300. Whenever I get a nine, I feel I get really excited because at first I think that's one of the, uh, you know, that's one of the numbers because nine just looks like a lucky number, you know? It's like seven, 11, and 21. But uh, the thing I like about nine is that it's only divisible by like how it's squared, you know? Like, you know, like uh, three times three, nine it's not divisible by anything else besides like one and nine but you know i don't even count that anymore i think that's cool four is like that too but like i don't know seven and eleven are known as lucky numbers so i feel like nine is kind of more in that range you know it's like literally in between those two so when you think about it, it's probably the luckiest number if it's like equally between two numbers like that
Yeah, I don't really do this a lot. I've only gotten like one lottery ticket in my life. I just kind of had a good feeling, you know. Uh, oh, shit, we got one. For one dollar. Huh. Yeah, just one dollar, okay. I usually don't scratch out the prizes unless I actually get the right number. But uh, the first time I did it and I scratched out the prize, even though I didn't get it, uh, it said $3,000. So I, that, was, that was pretty cool. I was feeling lucky. That might have been all the luck. Just went out in like one hit. Now I'm just stuck here scratching these other cards. I actually just got another one. Yeah, that's another dollar. See, even if I'm making a profit, like if it takes me, if it seriously takes me a half an hour to scratch all these tickets and I only get like a $5 profit, then that's when I'm breaking even. You know, like if I'm, you know, a normal job, I expect to get paid at least eight bucks an hour. And so yeah, I mean, four bucks, four buck profit, that's just breaking even. Be kind of cool if that was my job, just scratching lottery tickets though. It's a little exciting, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really see how people get addicted to it. look when I'm scratching lottery tickets I feel like I'm kind of in the zone then like I look like a total like idiot while scratching them I don't know I want to look cool scratching <laughs> I want to look cool while scratching lottery tickets four two oh 13 holy shit nah Maybe I should say the numbers out loud so whoever's watching this can like, I don't know, see if they can get it before me, get the, uh, what the answer is. Okay, we got four, one, and five, that equals ten. Which is not 7, 11, or 21. Yeah, I feel really weird being in this parking lot. I don't know. I want to feel weird, but, like, my headlights are always on when the car's on. I don't know. Maybe I'll just turn it off. Let's turn off the car or something. I want to turn off the car. Take off my seatbelt. I used to have a little face where I was just, like... You know, parking some random parking lot, just like read a book or write in, write in a journal or something. I don't know if the lighting's, the lighting's still fun. But, um, yeah, it was okay. It was just kind of weird and sketchy. Like, you, know, you don't want to be at the, uh, you don't want to be at like, um, a place where someone might get annoyed, you know? But, like, I think there's some places where, you know, people don't really care. Like a Walmart parking lot or Jewel or Target or something. But, you know, parking in front of someone's house is kind of like a shitty thing to do. Okay, we got eight more lottery tickets. I don't know more people do this on YouTube. I always see people, like, unpacking, like, Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Pokemon cards or something. And so, like, if you like Pokemon, I see the impeeled in that. But, like, and I think lottery tickets are, like, up that same alley, you know? Okay, it's 10, 2, and 3, 15, nope.
and 17. Is that nine? Three. Nine, three, and 10. Hmm. It's very disappointing. I'm glad I didn't just get one though. If you just get one and it gives you like nothing back, it just feels really shitty, you know? Like you just lost 100% of the money you put in. At least from this, I, you know, you're expected only to only lose like, I don't know, like 10% or something. It's not, it doesn't feel as bad. Okay, got nine and five, hoping for a, hope for a seven. Nah, I just got a two. Ten. Six, okay, maybe get five. Nah. One. Oh shoot, another one. It should have made three a lucky number. I don't know. It just seems cooler. You get three ones. That's pretty. That's pretty fucking lucky. And the chances are so small. I should gamble more often. One, one, and ten. Nah. having a gambling addictions like I don't know I had a neighbor who apparently had one like, he seemed like a totally cool guy but like you know it was just back in the past but, I mean like I get it that if you're like Addicted to, like, some kind of drug or nicotine or, like, even addicted to, like, sex and stuff. You know, that, that makes sense. But, like, gambling, I, I don't really get that too much. I guess if you need to get out of debt, and the only way you could do that is by gambling more. You know, that's, that's uh, an interesting way to do things. I want to get into horse racing. I want to gamble in the horse racing. I remember um, I went to this driving school thing after I got a ticket. And there's this, like, retired guy who just kind of, like, I don't know. He was, like, a former cop or something. But, like, he was really into gambling. He loved gambling. And um, his thing was horse races. He does nothing but he just goes to the track and gambles on horses. Which I, I think I think sounds pretty cool. Yeah, there's this huge stigma about like people who own horses being like super lame. But I want to meet the um, people who have horses for like you know gambling, horse racing, like the real deal. Like compared to the other people who own horses, you know. Like I bet those two groups of people don't even like talk to each other. About, like horses and stuff. It's like horses for completely different reasons, you know. I think if I was in the horse, <laughs> I already talked about the horse racing enough. Well, I don't know. This has been very sad. <laughs> I'm very disappointed after these last few tickets. Okay, we got five and a 12. Maybe if there's gonna be a four. No.
one. Yeah, I kind of wish the needle drop did something like this. I think that'd be really funny. Anthony Fantano. I think it'd be really awesome if he, uh, if he just bought a bunch of lottery tickets and like scratched them off. I can see this being a thing, you know? Like the next big thing. You know, there's that one. People would like dump the soda or water or whatever so someone notices or something. That seemed really dumb. That seemed like be much, uh, I don't know, more interesting fad. I mean, this has gone on for 16 minutes. I mean, I don't know. This fad actually has like substance or something. I'm making this a thing though. Everyone who's watching this should make a YouTube channel and then like um, just post a video of like uh, scratching lottery tickets. Or uh, if you like make a video of yourself scratching lottery tickets, call it the uh, coal hold challenge. <laughs> And uh, I guess send it to me or something. I'd really appreciate it if you're like text or snap or some whatever. Yeah, it's the cold challenge. One, nope. Ten, eight, five. Huh. <sighs> It's getting really tiring. I don't know what time it is. I don't know. I don't really feel like checking either. 10. 2. God damn it. I've only gotten four tickets that actually made me some money. I have three tickets left, I mean. I don't know. Maybe it's unlucky to make a video of yourself opening lottery tickets. I don't know if this is allowed or not. Because, I mean, I don't, I've never seen anyone else open them. Like, on YouTube and stuff. So, I, I don't really know if, like, this would get taken down or not. I think it's whatever. No one's going to care. Maybe except for my mom. I don't know, man. My mom, she's on something else. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I got 12. This one's not going to be good. 4, 16, 22. Okay, here we go. Two, two, so four. So I need a three. I need a three or a seven. Nah, I got another two. That's fine, though. I might double check all these cards. I don't know, because with this whole video thing... I don't know, it's really passing by the time. It'd be a lot more boring if I would not decide to make a video. Uh, okay, two. So another two. And then another two, huh? Look at, apparently there's the odds in the back of the lottery ticket. I don't know if that's a new rule or something. I never knew that was a thing. It says the overall odds of winning, including break-even prizes, are 1 in 4.78. I highly doubt that's true because I've only gotten like five prizes total. So if I only get five out of these 20 tickets, there's three games on each ticket at 60 that's like 1 in 12 times that's bullshit you're that I'm really unlucky th 
The $3,000 prize is 1 in 240,000. But, you know, there's a bunch of other prizes and stuff. I don't know. I was feeling really lucky today. So, I mean, kind of forgotten about all that luckiness. I remember the first couple, I was bright with joy. I was really ready. But now nah, I've got, oh shit, shit, here's a prize, here's a prize. Nah, that's just one dollar. I don't really know how to turn in lottery tickets. I've never gotten a winning ticket. I don't know. I think you just bring it back to the gas station. I don't want to go back to the same gas station though. I don't know. We just got one ticket left. Okay, I think that's a uh, one. Is that 12? Okay, one and a 12, 13. So we need an eight. Do not get the eight. That was a three. Okay, here's the eight. There's an eight for game two. Plus another eight. Okay, I just need a five. Three eights. Jesus says. Huh. Makes me a little sad. Okay, here's a five. Three. Okay, I'm really hoping to get a, really hoping to get a three to 13 and a one. Damn, that is. Let's see how much I got total. It's one dollar. Oh, I didn't even check this one. Okay, here's one more. Here's one more. I'm gonna check all the losing tickets also again. Nine, four, six, nah. Okay. One, five. Nine dollars. Eleven dollars. Twelve dollars. Jeez. Twenty dollars worth for a twelve. Man, this is a huge disappointment. Yeah, I doubt again missed any of these. But I uh, never is to check.
I don't really get why people always like get lottery tickets and stuff. I don't know. Because if you do what I'm doing and you obviously lose more than you make, which happens more often, you know, you figure people aren't really going to catch on to it too much. Yeah, I don't know. Today was a massive failure. Jeez, this is the most disappointing video ever. Was it, what did I say, $12? All right, I didn't lose that much money. And all of it actually came from, um, came from my change in the uh, a little change compartment in the car. You know, I put into Coinstar and um, I got like $29 worth. So, you know, I, I don't really regret anything too much. I don't know. I somehow had a hundred quarters. A hundred quarters and... Wait, is that sound about right? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, like a hundred quarters in my compartment, which is pretty, pretty insane when you think about it. Like, in how many situations does it take for me to, like, get that many quarters? Like, what are the chances of me in a transaction ending up, like, getting a quarter out of it? Because if it's, like, one one every time, then, like, yeah, that's, like, a hundred transactions right there. So, you know, I got I to gotta make sure. Uh, I want to start doing the math on that. Like, figuring out what change I get for, like, I don't know. Every time I give someone cash. I'm, I'm a cash guy now. I haven't paid, spent any money on my debit card for, uh. You know, for for a really long time. So I'm making all these tips from uh, delivering pizzas. And, um... Yeah, I don't really have much else to say, you know? Don't don't get into gambling, kids. Don't do what I just did. Because you'll, you'll probably lose some money or something. I don't know. It, it's fun one time, but, like... I don't know. It kind of gets, gets a bit boring, you know? All right, so uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm probably just gonna head home now. Uh, I guess I'll I'll see you all ne next time I see you. All right, later.